How's it going everyone? This is my hello and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. In the last video, we visited the sewer, sewers, but we also went through, well not the factory, but we went through Lab 32, which is all the way here. I don't know why I'm showing this to you, but it was interesting crossing across Lab 32. It wasn't just monsters, it was racing against Johnny. Now I didn't try the minigame again in the meantime, but yeah, so there's no progress on the minigame. Now here we are at the Proto Dome. Why are we here? According to what Luca found through her computer magic, there is a time gate here which can take us hopefully back to our time period. So it'd be nice to go back home. and it, it would also be nice to go to, you know, a time period where we can begin preparing for stopping Lavos, since he went to research up on Lavos, and it'd be good to research on Lavos before he destroys the world. Why well, am I calling Lavos a he? But whatever, let's go into the protodome and see what's inside. Okay, here's a robot. Oh, great. A required battle. Come on, Moron Luca. Chrono is stronger than you. So come on in a hippie of your A ball. Uh, I don't know, that was a weird reference there. To an episode that I didn't even watch yet. Come on! Um, yeah, I'm trying to watch Steven Universe, but I'm still progressing through season one. But that was a faster battle, because they were up in a group. Now you may think you may be thinking, oh that wasn't exciting at all, since Oh my god, Energon, yes! Alright, we're fully re revitalized. But you're still hungry. Now you may argue that this hasn't been exciting so far since there's been battles against robots we've seen before, but yeah, like I said before, so far all of the robots we've seen are deadly. Except for Johnny and his crew. They were nice. Oh, what is this here? Huh. Well, first of all, is there anything here? Or anything here? Here? Okay, what does this do? What is this thing? This thing. Careful, Marl. You didn't know what it is. Yeah, like I said, you don't know what it is. Luca, you seem to be an expert. Oh! Well, that's interesting. One time when we visited Luca's home, she talked about the possibility of creating a humanoid robot, but here it is right in front of her. Although, like she said, it's in bad shape, but it looks pretty good to me. It's intact. It's just deactivated. Wait, you can? Luca, you're a genius. Just, I hope you can fix it. It's gonna be amazing. Although that is true. Like I said before, all robots we've come across have been, well, most robots we've come across have been evil. Then again, maybe it's the creators of the machines that make them evil. Right, Luca? Yeah. Maybe they weren't evil to begin with. Whoever programmed them made them malicious. Although, that makes me wonder who is programming all these robots to be, well, quote, evil, unquote. So, you see good in robots, don't you, Luca? Okay, sure. I suppose this is a, this is a sensitive subject. Does not Luca have her trust in machines, after all? It's not as if they harm people on their own. Yeah, so what is it with the door, I wonder? Yeah, so I'll say this. For future reference, keep in mind that Luca wants to believe in the good of technology. I'll say this now because, well, I'll just say it now. Well, Luca, let's hope it's fixed. Let's hope it's fixed. Cause it'd be amazing. You give some oil? Hi! Oh! You're alive! And you're going crazy! You okay? Wait a minute. Yasunori Mitsuda, are you serious? Um... I'm going to clarify... Well, I'm going to say this. The composer of the song, and the composer for most of the soundtrack of Chrono Trigger, Yasunori Mitsuda. In fact, this is him. 
Look at him, he's such a charming man. He's so young looking too, even though, I mean, I'm anyway. So, in an interview, he claimed that he had never heard of Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. So, supposedly, the fact that this song sounds so much like that song is a coincidence. Now, is that to be believed? It depends. There may be a possibility that maybe the song was popular on the radio and he might have heard it and it might have been in his subconscious. This may also be a case where, oh you know, not every piece of art is 100% original, but you have to admit, the resemblance, resemblance is pretty close. Like it's not truly res it's not truly similar, but you can mash these two songs together and it's a convincing mashup. Anyway, and Rick rolling aside, how are you doing robot? Oh, he's polite. Oh, Luca, you were right. It's not really the machines themselves that are evil. It's the humans who program them. Um, mistress. Oh, come on, he's just being polite, Moral. Then again, you do hate being royalty. You just want to be like everyone. Hi, robot. Yes, you should really thank Luca for, well, existing right now. Oh, he's thankful. I'm assuming that he's a he. <laughs> We're also modest. Marl is so modest, Luca is so modest, but the robot doesn't understand modesty. Not programmed for modesty. <laughs> Funny how you should talk to Marl about that, Luca. <laughs> Marl agrees. I suppose it's like one of the few things Marl and Luca agree about. Then again, they're pretty friendly with each other, right? Alright, he's a new friend. What's his name? His name is... R669. Awesome! Well, R669, um, nice to meet you. What do you mean, Marl? Like what? What can we name him? Oh, I know what we can name him! Um, no, 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 no. We can name him R66. Wait, R66Y, right? No, I'm gonna name him his canon name. I mean, it's a thing. You may notice that I could have named get the characters. I could have given different, you know, characters my own names, but for many, many, many reasons, I prefer to give the characters their default names. So, meet Robo, one of the most charming robots ever, and it's interesting. You just grow to love him. So yes, we're gonna name him Robo. Hello, Robo. That is ours complete. Yeah, you know, this dome is pretty deserted aside from robots, and why were you deactivated in the first place? Yeah, it seems like you're just unaware of what's happened. Oh? Hmm. Like humans, like in the Tran and Aeris dome? Like the ones who were suffering, or... Jesus, what happened here? I don't think I want to know, to be honest. Well, let's see. We can either say we're healthy, or we're from the past. Well, I guess we can be honest with the robot. We time traveled, Robo. Yeah, so, like I said before, this is the reason why we're at Protodome for the time gate. Maybe it's behind that door. If only if we can break open that door. Yeah, we're in a pickle right now. Especially since we have to save the world. Can you break open the door, Robo? Can you do it, Robo? No? Oh! It's... You, you mean you need electricity to open it? Interesting. Hey! That's awesome! Yeah, I'm totally done for that, that, that idea. Thank you, Robo. You're such a sweet robot. Aww, he believes in give and take. Oh, I see. Um... Sure, uh, I guess this isn't, isn't a perfect arrangement, but sure, there's four of us. There's, you know, three of us can go to the factory and deal with the generator, right? So that means we have to leave one person behind, Marl or Luca. Makes me wonder, why can't we leave Chrono behind? Like, <laughs> he hasn't made an effort to make friends with Robo, but... I mean, we're just not a protagonist, so there's not much we can do. So yes, either Marl or Luca has to stay behind. Um, either choice is good. 
um, he may be sacrificing he you know healing or offense for different reasons I'm going to decide to let Marl stay behind I'm going to be taking Nuka with me so yes this is our new party member Robo he attacks with his tin arm and he's pretty well stocked already with well power but and I, got, I guess I kind of wanted to make him stronger too so let's make him stronger so as you can see he is stronger than Chrono um, his magic is whatever the thing is he's slow but he's truly defensive so that's a good thing you may argue maybe you should have put a defender back on him why hello well I don't know I like giving Robo power I mean here's the thing you may think Robo is all about physical attacks and you may think that's boring and you think Robo is a boring character at first the thing about Robo is he's a tough character to get used to at the beginning but let me tell you this in my most recent playthrough of Chrono Trigger Robo became one of my favorite characters to play as ever let's get on with the factory shall we let's break this joint destroy the fact uh, generator well I suppose we should fix the generator right can you do this Robo oh nice job Robo awesome you can break two security since you're awesome oh hi we fought you before although you may say oh now's the time to show Robo off right well the thing is well he does have okay I, sh I suppose I should t talk about this later but Robo has access to text already and I mean the reason why I didn't show off the tech was because the asset has a huge defense stat so physical attacks are useless on um, the acid drop an acid here yeah etc etc now Robo has access to cure beam it's not as good as Marl's aura and it costs 2 MP but it's decent you know we don't need Marl all the time right rocket punch is a stronger attack and get this Robo can learn text laser spin which is interesting because Luca and Chrono seem to have stopped learning text but you know Robo is still up for learning so let's go down shall we we that elevator looks so fun all right so we have to explore the factory um, there's a lot of things we need to do to progress here and also get some neat items now you may go around and explore but oh mid ether huh how about that hmm it's funny in my previous playthrough of this game I was wondering what the hell was up with this that hidden passage since I seem to have just missed that mid ether but there's my answer I suppose now we are in a weird area with conveyor belts carrying robots around and oh treasure nice robin bow oh that'd be perfect for moral but wait oh never mind um forget I did anything I suppose I should have shown off what level Luca, I mean Marl was. Jesus, stop confusing Luca with Marl, and vice versa. But yeah, I should have shown off what level Marl was, um, because, well, it's an interesting thing about this game, but interesting stuff aside. Uh, uh, must go. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, whatever you do, if you don't want to go through this, don't touch any robots. I do want to go through with this, so I'm fine. I'm fine with this. So this is a Proto Three. We haven't seen this before, but it's pretty similar to the robots we have seen before, except they kick ass. Um, I'm just gonna attack it with a normal attack and to demonstrate Robo's strength. That's already pretty strong. Like that's his normal attack. Wow, you're just going after Luca. Isn't Luca the one who loves robots to begin with? Do you not? Returning to favor, man. Well, that was a fun battle. Well, guess what? They got even more fun because what follows here is automatic. You cannot pause in between. So this is a gauntlet. As annoying as this may sound, because this is kind of annoying. But I see this as a necessary evil. Not to mention a good opportunity for a lot of experience here. Man, they're just, they're, just, they're, just, they're just aggressive here. 
like I demonstrated bef before, um, Robo is strong and Robo can also heal us. So, oh right, they're in a the line. Cool. I didn't realize that because I was, I was all, I was trying to aim for the right one, but I was all like, ooh, interesting. She's hitting both of them at the same time. So that's interesting. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe that's one good reason why I brought Luca with me. But I don't know. I feel like if Luca fixed Robo. Oh right, you've learned laser spin already, and we've learned rocket roll. Oh good, that means the next battle is a good time for me to show off laser spin. Whenever the ne whenever the next battle is, answer now. Oh boy, gauntlet battle number three, I suppose. Yeah, it's a little annoying, but especially with how they're just going ape shit on us, since there's five of them versus the three of us. And you have these, you have these observe that they're pretty fast, you know. Now I suppose Robo and Luca have the same speed stat, which is why their ATB bars have been going up the same rate. So that's been a little annoying. I might give Luca a tonic since she's just not going to do a whole lot of devastation in this battle. So yeah, laser spin is an awesome hit all. It hits so many enemies, like it does a better job at hitting everyone. Like it's a it's an AoE attack that doesn't make you have to worry about location at all. It's just, hey, enemies are on screen, just destroy them. Go. Now, the thing about this attack is, it does cost a lot of MP. It costs, what is it, 4 MP, so it's a bit costly. But, hey, sometimes the price is worth it, right? If only if there are a way for MP to not be an issue here. If only. Thankfully, that's the last of the battles in the robot gauntlet. Hello, guys. So, I suppose now's a good time to heal people. And Robo, Robo heals a good amount, so that's nice. But like I said, his MP is taking a huge hit. Oh, it's only three um, MP. But look at this. He's learning another tech. Oh, it's interesting. Why are Chrono and Luca not learning anything, but Robo's still learning? I suppose Robo is a you know a constant support of keep learning, it'll be good for your brain. That's a good mentality. Oh hi, there's bugs here. Uh, okay, so that's over with. We've seen those enemies before, so I didn't really bother to show them. So oh um yeah, I'll just go on with this. So as it turns out, if you do want to explore this area, that was a bit necessary. Well, here we go. This whole going through the conveyor belts thing was a little necessary but because you know there's access to these items here and also access to this computer here what's with this computer can you work your magic robo crane control code okay so do we have these two codes x and a and bb gotcha whoa you may think these battles are a little on the tough side but like i said before robo you're in good hands with robo here so don't worry too much about the battles here. Um, is there anything down here? To, well, there no actually. There's nothing down here. Let's take a look over here, shall we? More robots. Great. They're cleaning robots. Cleaning ladies. Consuela robots, I suppose. You may say, ha ha ha, that's a stupid joke. Okay, so... Remember, one of the codes was X, A. And that's correct. So, code zero, zero makes the crane remove this barrel. Oh, interesting. That means we can full explore this part of the factory. And I worked in a factory. Oh, I wish that I could be. Oh, I wish that I could be. Oh, I wish that I could be. By the way, I just pressed BB, by the way, which is fun because I'm just singing, I wish I could be Richard Corey. Uh, yeah, and that song is weird. It's Simon and Garfunkel from their Sounds of Silence album. Not one of my favorite songs, but it's just a, it's just a memorable song, so... Random tangent aside, can you move any slower? Random floating crane? Oh, that's a neat thing of the future. The cranes are drones, I suppose. Huh, Colonel Trigger predicted drones before they actually happened. Well, isn't that a bit political right there? <laughs> Anyway, social commentary aside, go back to video game commentary here, my hello, you're supposed to comment on video games, not politics or 
society or stuff like that. Where's another computer? Ooh, and a bolt. Wait a minute. We already have a bolt sword. Disappointed. What's with this computer here? Oh. Last defense lock code. Okay, so we did need to go here after all. For some last defense security thing, which we need to break through in order to access the generator. So, Zaby, or X A B Y. That's Zaby, baby. Oh, that's so stupid. Zed's dead. Zed's dead. Zed's dead, Zaby. Stop it! Oh, you're not being funny or entertaining, Mayo. Hello. Oh, great. More of these bugs. Oh, no, not. Get away. No! Man, Robopack's quite the punch, you may say. Right? Right. Anybody? Okay. I suppose no one's gonna pay attention. Oh, don't touch the robots. Don't touch the robots. Don't fear the Reaper, I suppose. Don't need the mushroom or whatever other reference you can make. Stupid references and all. Here we go. Let's go down here for this treasure chest, which contains an ether. Well, what the frickin' do? So, my advice do not touch the robots if you want to preserve your sanity. Because otherwise, you'll be forced to go through the whole gauntlet of robots again. And that is not fun. Not fun at all. Especially to go through it a second time. I mean, one may argue you're stronger now, so. Wait a minute, what? Where was that barrel again? Oh, it's over there, right. Duh. I know this. I'll admit this factor kind of throws me off a bit sometimes. A lot of times. Most of the time. Wait, what? Oh, it made a shortcut. Wait. Oh. Maybe that. Maybe those two barrels were for that one path and we made a shortcut and we, we didn't need to come here. I don't know. I'm not a. Yeah. This floor. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm not a huge flan of this floor, my hello. Really? Care for some dessert, bitch? Oh, hi. It's robots. Who are ballerina de robots? Hello, you're debuggers, I suppose. You all look the same to me, but I suppose you all work in coding, I suppose. Good on you. We need debuggers in programming factories. You know what? You look like you can be flame tossed instead of laser spinned. Flame tossed before laser spin, since. Well, Luca, that. Actually, that did enough damage. Good job, Luca. Gold star! Alright. What is this written here? It's a piece of paper. A piece of paper. Okay, so the right was the factory area where we just were. And the lab area is down here. Yeah. Yeah, so perhaps that's your warning about making sure not to disturb the conveyor belt, not to disturb anything by not touching the robots. Otherwise, like I said before, you'll be in danger thanks to that robot gauntlet. Which, like I said before, wasn't fun. Ooh, a save point. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna rest here. And in the next video, we're gonna continue on with the factory to get to that generator with our new found buddy, Robo. He's so awesome, don't you agree? Agree with me, dammit.